So uh, this module uh, is the series of three modules in which uh, I'll talk about uh, creating that remarkable content. Because remember, you draw traffic based upon the content and you draw the search engines to you based upon the content. And that increases your ranking and you come up on the top or in the top uh, list of the ranking of web search engine results. So this content is based upon your story. Every small business has a story to tell. And that story makes that business effective and makes that business uh, successful on the web. So what is meant by that story? Uh, the story is how you got started and what you do for your customers or what you tell your friends you do for a living and uh, what are the facilities or what are the features or what are the products and what are the services you can offer to your customers which nobody else can offer. So this is your story and your story uh, is going to be told using colors, using text, uh, using fonts, their combination and everything is important. So it's a collective effort and therefore uh, in this module I will talk up to color psychology. In the next module I will talk up to the home page and in the following module I will talk about a worksheet which will be used to creating that valuable content. So let's go ahead. So first of all uh, we'll talk about very very briefly the five core pages. Of course uh, one can proceed uh, go ahead with three pages also. So what are those five pages? Those five pages are the home page uh, about us. Uh, it is about our uh, customers, about our feedback, then how to contact us and what we are selling, uh, what we are the services we are providing. So these are the five core pages. So those pages are there uh, in every successful website and get inspired, get ideas. So I'll briefly talk about that how you get inspiration, uh, how you get the ideas to tell your story. Then are the design basics. Design basics consist of the logo. It consists of the color. I'll talk about color psychology. And the design basic also consists about the font. Then I'll talk about some tips about the images. And of course, I'll talk more about it. And uh, be mobile ready. So the point over here is that this all is not going to be covered in this module. Uh, this I believe is going to be the part three. Okay. And this is going to be the part two. And this is mostly part one. So these are the three modules which I spoke very briefly. So let's go into more details. So how do you get inspired? So uh, it, you, you don't have to do it alone. So you talk to your friends, you discuss it with your friends and they, and it generates ideas. Or uh, you look at the customer referrals, what the customer said about you and what is written in your brochures, what is written in your marketing material, uh, what is written in your uh, advertisements. So you use all of that material and uh, based upon that material, you generate that valuable content. Because remember that you don't get many chances for the people to come on your website. Maybe you get only a single chance. And that chance has to be memorable experience for that visitor or that customer. And other websites. This is, this is uh, important. Why it's important? Because uh, see what other businesses in your area, in your domain, uh, are presenting over the internet about themselves and of course it is fine to look at that material and get inspiration but please don't copy don't copy you can get inspiration but don't copy that's that's the message over here so design basics uh, logo uh, if you don't have a logo think about developing a logo think about creating a logo and if you already have a logo that logo should be uh, reflected, the, the, the composition, the color of that logo should be reflected on your website to be consistent. And then is the colors. 
these colors are not specific to the logo but these colors are for the harmony for example uh, if your uh, organization or your business is is about uh, is about uh, energy uh, energetic things then of course maybe you go for a hot pink or tangerine color or if your business is about banking is about consultancy then maybe you go for charcoal gray or blue or blue color so this is the colors and then are the fonts now fonts are of the text uh, now remember that fonts are subtle uh, they could be bold they could be linear they could be thin but the point i'm trying to make is that the text is all over your website so individually the text doesn't have a significant impact but collectively it has a significant impact i believe you understand and then is the layout and more uh, how much white space is there white space is more it looks it gives an impression of simplicity and control and uh, if the text is there a less white space it gives the impression of energy so these are the things you look be considering now this is one of my favorite color chart so you see that colors are associated with different uh, feelings the mood of the people goes with the color the psychology of the people goes with the color the efficiency of the people goes with the color and this color is specific to age this color is specific to the culture and this color is specific to the biological reasons also and this color is specific to our optic nerves also so some things are constant some are varying and one needs to take into consideration all of the aspects of the color all of things which i have just spoken with you for example see the trust so we see that which organizations have blue color associate with trust now remember one thing that because of the global nature of the internet the readers or the visitors of your website could be from anywhere from the world so because of this social networking because of the social online communities because of the social websites there is the concept of the global village of the global world which is contracting and try to understand that it is now becoming difficult to have a certain color which conveys the same meaning across all the cultures for example in the western cultures the semantics or the meanings of the color are more wide but in the eastern or the middle eastern culture or far east culture it is more specific it is more focused so it may not so happen that you assign or associate a certain color in your website and it may have radically different uh, connotations across different cultures let me give you one example over here we see that this has a certain connotations which seem to be opposite at other places we can have a positive connotations and negative connotations so need to take into consideration all of these connotations remember that once you go online once you're on the web then it's a global audience so you need to take into consideration all of these things in the design factors so that's all for this module